What's going on, y'all? So in my last video, I showed you how to use the Move to Origin feature in Studio One, and I had to use that recently because an engineer sent me some files that didn't start at one. So and now I'm going to show you how to make your track start at one. So if you're uh, collaborating with another artist or sending your files to another engineer, and you don't need to send the whole song, just say a verse or a hook, um, a guitar part, anything like that. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to make the track start at one. So when they import it into their DAW, no matter what DAW they use, if it starts at one, if they got the correct tempo, everything will line up perfectly. Uh, so uh, the easiest way to do that in Studio One is, well, there's two ways. Uh, the first way, if you uh, hold Command and select the range, and we're going to select the range all the way back to one, um, and this is, we're going to do it for this, uh, this verse here. So we're going to select uh, both events and select the range back to one. And Command B is bounce, and it's going to bounce it down to start at one, all the way to the end of this event. So now when you export it, uh, the file will start at one, go all the way to the end. So now I can import that into um, a session of any DAW, and it's going to line up correctly. Another way you can do it is if you take your uh, your range, your loop, and uh, let's select the range back to one, and shift P uh, selects the range and makes it a loop. We're going to activate the loop. So now I've got a loop from one all the way to the end of this event. So let's um, solo the tracks uh, that you want to do it with. Let's pull up our export and want to uh, export tracks. And that was a uh, shift apple E uh, for export stems. Uh, make sure we have the two tracks selected and uh, wave file. Uh, 24 bit 44 1 uh, between the loop is what we want to have selected here because we want to export between the loop uh, which starts at 1 and uh, make sure we have uh, preserve mono tracks checked here and we'll go ahead and let this bounce now uh, you'll also hear this term called um, consolidate the files uh, that term came from Pro Tools because in Pro Tools uh, that option is called uh, consolidate whereas um, in Studio One is called bouncing. Uh, the easiest term I like to use for it is to make the track start at one, because no matter uh, what DAW you use, that's um, it's easy to understand and makes sense for all DAWs. Okay, so we're bounced down here. I'm going to bring these two files back into Studio One. And as you can see, uh, we got the same result. And if I pull them back to one, you can see the two verses line up perfectly. Uh, so there's two ways that you can make your track start at one. Um, personally, I prefer the, the bounce. It's just quicker. Um, and uh, the second way does take longer, but it is effective. It's just another way that you can do it. Um, all right, then that's how to make all your tracks start at one. And I'll catch you all next time.